The drop goal conversion is very important in the game of sevens. It can mean the difference between winning and losing. I think um, that's the reason why a lot of teams really have targeted it as a new skill now. In 15s, you have a lot more time to take the conversion. You can walk back, put your tee down, line it up, you have your routine, and then you go. Whereas in sevens, you don't have that luxury. It's all about pressure. The drop of the ball is everything. You have to have your technique. You have to slow your heart rate down. You have to focus. You have to keep your head down. You have to swing through. And you know what? If you can convert it, you're the man. Ben Gollings, the world's leading sevens point scorer, just keeps piling on the points. The ability to kick a goal in this game is, is all important. It's the deciding factor of winning and losing. I know in my career how important it was for me and for our team. We won some tournaments with the final kick of the game. This to win it. It goes through the post. England, champions of Hong Kong, and the man they envelop is that man. His proudest moment, I'm sure. Ben Gollings. For me, it is the timing and it's the drop. In a place kick, the ball, it doesn't move because it's on a tee. With a drop kick, the minute it leaves your hands, there's a whole lot that can go wrong. And so it's really important that you get a really consistent drop that then is going to give you a consistent strike. It just takes practice. When you come to hitting it in a game, there is really no difference. You put yourself in the zone, you go through your little routine. You know then it's about you and the ball and just concentrating on what you know. And You'll know if you've got it right, the minute it hits your foot, you can almost turn and start running. But certainly that feeling of it being just sweet is a good feeling. And then when it goes over and the crowd cheer, even better feeling. Version attempt from Terry Buahua. Absolutely magnificent. Terry Buahua made it look easy. It's important to transform the essays because all the points are important. It's a sport that goes very fast and you don't leave the point on route. Euh, moi, je pense que l'une des choses les plus importantes, c'est le rebond, le rebond du ballon sur le terrain. Donc, il faut savoir s'adapter à, à la surface du terrain et au ballon. Et ensuite, le, le deuxième élément, c'est la stabilité du corps pour avoir une position parfaite. Ma façon de m'entraîner, c'est de répéter le mouvement plusieurs fois. Et aussi, j'ai une seconde façon de m'entraîner, c'est de, de me mettre en situation, c'est-à-dire de m'entraîner à, à buter en dans une séance de, de préparation physique où c'est un peu difficile et du coup on retrouve les sensations de match. As much as people try and replicate what happens in the game on practice time, I don't think you really can do it. I mean, in a game it's at full noise, you've got people all around you, 40,000 people screaming. There's all that pressure on you and you know what? You've only got 30 seconds to do it in. Here's Madison Hughes from the sideline. A bit of pressure here from Madison Hughes. What a kick! A conversion can be the difference between winning and losing a game. You've got 30 seconds after the ball scored to take the conversion. I mean, you might have run 80 meters at a full sprint. You've immediately got to turn around and hit a conversion that's really important for your team. Your heart rate's going so fast, your breathing's out of control, uh, and you just want to slow it down. I'm kind of doing one breath looking at the ground, one breath looking up at the posts, uh, one breath back at the ground, and then I'm into my routine or I follow through. And that really helps me kind of slow my breathing down because my heart rate's pumping and I'm, I'm trying to get it back under control, but also get back into that, okay, this is something familiar, something I've done a million times. It's just about going through my routine and trying to execute under pressure. This to go through to the final. Cometh the hour, cometh the man. Madison Hughes. Won't get there. It's pretty tough to look back at Hong Kong, semi-final, time up, touchline conversion to win the semi-final and just slides to the left of the post. And I mean, it's pretty upsetting. You know that you could have won the game right there. I mean, on the flip side, when it goes well, I mean, it, it feels amazing to look back to Dubai when I hit the game-winning conversion from the touchline. 30 meters on the angle, nice and high into the night sky in Dubai. And that's money in the back. Madison Hughes, get it done, son. It was a pretty amazing feeling. I and mean, just remember running back towards the guys, kind of tongue was out, fists were pumping. It was pretty awesome, pretty exciting. And yeah, just to know that I did my part for them, they were pretty psyched about it too.